Hello guys and welcome to Midi's Tech Server. So before we start, um, sorry for this video quality. It's not the best setup I have ever had, but it's yeah. I, I need to improvise uh, a little bit because yeah, uh, I'm recording with my Galaxy Tab as i five E, and I I bet you do not want to see how I made a stand for my uh, tab s5e so um it's maybe likely that it will fall off but yes i'm doing again a video and in today's video um we are taking a look at a new released update for the galaxy tab s5e so i received this update few um few days ago i think maybe two or three days and it was an update which weight around 500 megabytes i will show you the um okay i can't because i've done a factory reset um but this update is a really big one because this oh yeah you see uh <laughs> my tab is 5e almost fall off okay but this is a really big update we got some new features and a really nice one. And um, as you have maybe already noticed by the title, I'm talking about the night mode for the Galaxy S9 Plus. So you may already heard about what the night mode feature does, what it is. Um, we all know this from the Pixel phones from Google and um, Samsung released for the S10, also night mode is some some months ago, I think two months or one month ago. And finally, we have it now on the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. So this here is um, unlocked German model. So um, it's the Exynos variant for the Snapdragon models. Um, the T-Mobile, uh, yeah, people with um, a T-Mobile handset already received the June patch, but without all these features, I don't know why. Hmm. Let's see when uh, T-Mobile in the US and other carriers will release this update with these nice features. Okay, so let's start off with the night mode. So after installing the update, you just go to the camera. And as you can see, I'm already on the night mode. But if you are opening up the camera for the first time, you may not see night mode right here. You have to scroll a bit until you see it. And um, by long pressing on the current mode, you can edit the modes so you can rearrange them. So photo here is our default one and live focus is um, on the left to the default photo taking mode. And then you can rearrange night mode where you want to have it to stay. And yeah, so this is night mode, nothing special here in the UI. You will just see a message, hold your phone steady while taking night shots. So um, yeah, just um, hold your phone steady as it is possible to get the best result. I've already took some pictures. I will link them down below in the video description. You can check them out um, to see how it looks with the night mode and with the um, default photo mode. Um, it's it de definitely uh, is worth having because uh, when you're taking uh, shots at night or when you have not many lights um, available and the flashlight isn't an option, night mode really can get you some details um, which you won't get on the photo with the default photo mode. The next change in the camera is live focus. So in live focus, we got something new. So you can adjust the background blur um, setting already in the photo taking mode. And so you were able to do this after taking the photo, but now you're able to just do this um, before even taking the photo. So you can see live um, how yeah, background blur on the level six looks. And this is cool. This is a nice thing to have, definitely. So, okay. Then when we go to settings, we will see <clears throat> that we have an option called scan QR codes. So I will go back to the usual photo mode. Okay, scan QR codes. So this is a new thing. Um, the iPhones um, had this before. And what it 
does is basically when the camera detects a QR code, it will scan it instantly. So it won't take any longer than a second or so. Um, and you will get a pop-up where you can then directly go to the website or whatever the QR code is meant to be to do. So this is cool. Um, you will also notice this new QR code scanning feature that uh, toggle, basically it's here on the first uh, first page and it, is, it does nothing else than just opening up the camera. So you see here, we get scan QR codes with a camera. Uh, now you can point your camera at QR codes to add contacts, to go to web pages, add calendar events and more. So just um, to mention or to show people who are new to this update and don't know this, that they can now do this. So if you open up this Oops, you see, um, almost my Tab S5e fell off. Okay, I saved it, I saved it. I have good reactions, like Spider-Man. Okay, let's move on. Um, so, yeah, just a QR code scanner in the camera. Nothing really dramatic, special, but it's a cool thing to have. Let's move on. Um, also, what I have noticed is that the animations are faster, more fluid, um, that's definitely cool. I don't know why this took so long to load, but yeah. Um, if you're wondering what the stylus is this year is from Adonit, the dash free stylus. I will make a video about the stylus soon. So stay tuned for this video coming up. And yeah, we have new touch sounds, but we already got this with the May update. I will show you what they sound like. So if you go then to system sounds and vibration and touch sound, you can hear. Oh no, well, they changed them back. So that's cool because before we had really weird touch sounds like a doo -doo, doo -doo, when always touching and now you have the click sound back, hear it, you see? Yes, okay, so we have the old one Back, so yeah don't need to mention it but we had before in the May update a weird one really a weird one but okay they changed it back maybe they've heard um, on the customer feedback about the new touch sound all right um, also um, what I wanted to mention is that we have a new charging animation so we have now instead this little thing oops not the messages Instead, this little thing coming up right here in the home button area, you see here, we have now this circle here um, with the battery percentage when charging your phone, like on the S10. So that's basically it. Um, but night sight is definitely the biggest change in this update here. Um, also that maybe it runs a bit more fluid, even more fluid than before, in my opinion. Could be a placebo, but I don't think so. So that's basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, found this you sorry, found this video useful and informative. If yes, also please consider to subscribe, give this video a like. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them down below in the video description. And yeah, have a good one. I see you guys in the next video. Bye. Let it go. Let it go.